spin and score. Nice finish from Eric. Jalen put it down <laughs> and won. Sherrod shakes, makes, rolls to the floor. That is a great celebration to see you women handing number eight Utah its first loss of the season as the Buffs rebound from an earlier loss in Salt Lake City to the Utes. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Buffalo Stampede. We're out here at Corelli's. Monday nights, we're out here from 7 until 8 o'clock for Buffs Primetime. And now we're catching up with J.R. Payne, who's coming out that great win over the eighth ranked, ranked team in the country. That was a heck of a win. A great atmosphere, and the crowd was oh, outstanding. And best crowd of the year. Yeah. Huge crowd. Um, just the the entire environment was just raucous and loud and energetic and I think we definitely were also felt that way as we were playing. You know you, you think of it as a bounce back win. Buffs lost by 27 at Salt Lake City. You didn't have a chance to give them your best effort in that ball game yeah. for various reasons but your team was locked in on Friday night. Oh my gosh we were so ready. I mean we, we went back and watched you always watch the film from sure. before I mean, as we were watching it it was almost hard to take anything from it because we were such a disorganized group it felt like on the yeah. film so we were we had prepared for them all week long very far Focus practices. We knew the game plan. We executed the game plan. You go look at the box score of this one. The defense for Colorado was outstanding. Held, in fact, Utah under 40% shooting for the ball game. Yeah. Is, is that been growing and improving as season goes? It has. Defense? Yeah, it has. We we feel like we're a defensive team. We feel like we can stop. We can guard anybody. You know, Utah is number one or number two in the country in so many offensive categories. So I think we took that personally, you know, and took that as a real challenge and, and did what we needed to do. And, and as a result of that, by the way, the Utes had 21 turnovers, only 11 assists. They're one of the top teams in the country. Yeah. I mean, that, that number right there really speaks to what your team did. It does, yeah. And I think, you know, our goal was to be disruptive. There, I always say Utah likes to play pretty. Like, everything flows very smoothly. Everything feels comfortable. Our entire goal was to be disruptive and make them uncomfortable, and we did that. Well, the Buffaloes hand the Utes their first loss of the season. Colorado now 13-3 and three on the season. And after that ball game, JR and a couple of her players <laughs> had a post-game press conference. Presented by Coors Light. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment, made to chill, celebrate responsibly. Yeah, I think going into this game, we knew like the game plan was to be tough and be gritty and like we function at our best when we're like that. So I think like early on, we just needed to all settle down. But once we settled down and just kind of started to execute better, I think it worked out in our favor. I think we were just good at really staying together, um, especially on our huddles on the court. It was just one possession at a time, gotta get a stop, just keep, focusing on what was ahead of us. Um, and I think we got a really good group with good, good chemistry to be able to go through those moments right now. We know we can beat Utah and it was just um, really good to execute our game plan so well and just feel like we really made them so uncomfortable the whole game. We love that. Coaching staff was really on me about pushing the ball in transition. I think this year, before this game, I was kind of hesitant when transition, so they were just always telling me to be um, aggressive because when I push downhill, I create a lot of things, either for myself or for my teammates. So going into the game, knowing that was the plan, that's something that I just kept in the back of my mind. Well, it was JR and her players after that 77-67 win over the Utes at the event. So they get a bust now 13-3. Now they get ready for the Arizona schools coming to town. Is something you can build off of, you think, a win yeah, like that? Yeah, and I think we will. You know, we're, we're very good at keeping our team grounded, you know, so we get very excited, we enjoy, we celebrate, but we very quickly get back to work, you know, as yeah. far as the next opponent. And so Arizona presents a huge challenge, so sure. it's a great opportunity to keep growing. In that Utah game, there was kind of an interesting matchup. Aaron Vonley is, is a fantastic transfer you brought in. Yeah. Very physically gifted player. Yeah. Peely for Utah, you said that was really an interesting matchup. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I think two of the more athletically gifted players in the Conference and two of the bigger players in the conference. So to see them battle, the battle in the paint uh, was tremendous. You know, I didn't want any part of it. I, I would have gotten <laughs> tossed around like a rag doll. But um, but to see those two go at it was very proud of Aaron. Jalen Sherrod, anybody watching this show and you follow women's basketball, you know how good she's been during her career. You, you've talked about the fact yeah. she's playing fewer minutes, put yeah. together a great stat line against Utah. Yeah, Th that takes growth to. Uh, number one, you're, you're not playing as many minutes, but yeah. still being productive. She's an efficient player now. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jalen, ju she's just grown her game in a lot of ways. She wants to be great. She wants to be coached. She wants to hear what she's doing well, what she's not doing well. And so I think that type of maturity, you know, at the point guard position is, yeah. is helping her become the player she's capable of being. Yeah. Is she become a vocal leader for you as well? More and more so, yes. You know, for years we've said, you need to talk more. <laughs> you need to be, you know, and she's finally embracing that and doing a great job. Well, again, the Buffalo's got the Arizona 
school is coming to town. So Friday night, you've got Arizona yep. uh, at the CU events. So give us a bit of a scouting report. Yeah, on. I mean, they're good. You know, I have two of the best defensive teams in the league, I think, with us in Arizona. Yeah. They guard, they they trap, they rotate. They're very athletic. Um, they also try to be very disruptive. So I think both teams, it'll be a defensive battle. All right, looking forward to that one. Congratulations on a big win over Utah. Thank you. All right, that's, uh, by the way, the second top 10 win the coach has got here in the last couple of seasons as the Buffaloes knock off Utah. Now get ready for the Arizona schools. Coming up next in the Stampede, we're talking men's basketball. They come off a sweep of the Oregon schools at the event center. We're going to talk with point guard Julian Hammond.